National Coalition for Proper Human Sexual Rights and Family Values claimed the practice of homosexuality is a mental disorder. The group also claimed out of about 30 million Ghanaian population, only uh, zero two percent are involved in the act and that's not all the group further claimed only six percent out of the homosexual population are born with those tendencies whilst over 93 percent learned the act through peer pressure curiosity adventurism among others professor Akwisio say a member of the coalition has been addressing the parliamentary committee tasked to consider a memo on the anti-lgbt bill so anybody tells you that, look, my condition is normal for me, it is false. There is a scientific determination of what is normal. And I'm saying that one to three percent of the population as homosexuals cannot be said to be normal because they fall outside the Gaussian distribution. Having said so, the other question is, is it mental illness or not? By definition, yes, it is mental illness. It is. And by the way, mental illness does not mean the person is gone naked on the streets. You could be mentally ill and yet very well dressed. So the fact that the person may be well dressed does not make the person normal or well. In fact, by definition, it is, and you go through why, how we define something as mental illness. We have a criteria, a set of criteria for diagnosing mental illness. So if you hear somebody has depression, somebody has schizophrenia, he, the person satisfies these five criteria. In fact, the first four are mandatory. The fifth may or may not be there. So there must be a departure from the norm. Departure, that means it's abnormal from the Gaussian distribution I showed. It, that departure must be severe. That departure must be persistent. And it must cause pain or distress to the person or the society. So if I have a certain behavior, that causes me pain, or causes pain or distress to the rest of the people, plus the three others, that by definition constitutes mental illness. And the fifth is that it may be associated with other abnormalities. It may, because it's not always so. There are some conditions that we call it circumscribed abnormality. That is still a mental illness. Now these days, if, I, if you put this argument, the degenerate science, and I say degenerate, will say, oh, but you've removed sexual perversion from the list of conditions. Just to satisfy an ideological stand, they have deliberately removed sexual perversion. So they look at all those things and say that once they remove homosexuality that we say that we are removing from the list of abnormalities, it used to be in a class of conditions. And those things still remain. Pedophilia, a 60-year-old man decides that my interest in sex is to go for a two-year-old girl and not just once, that is my persistence. Pedophilia is abnormal, it's mental illness. Ablekuma West MP Eslo Wuse Kufu says the promotion of sexual human rights and family value bill in its current form discriminates against members of the LGBT uh, community in the view of the MP. If oral sex amongst heterosexuals is an offense under the country's current law, yet permitted, then proponents of the bill should avoid gagging members of the same sex indulged in those acts. She also observed that the bill could be rendered meaningless by the end of the committee's deliberation. She insisted some of the provisions are problematic. Speaking to Joy News' Chrissy Parker Wilson, the Minister of Communication said the demand for her to state her position on the bill is irrelevant. I'm not even too interested in the for and against aspect of it. When you're crafting legislation, every word has a meaning. And we have to be mindful of its conformity with our laws, existing legislation, the Constitution, and international conventions and obligations that we've signed up to. So many of the questions that are being asked are to elicit more information from those who presented memoranda on one aspect of it or the other. I was concerned this morning, um, and I think I raised that point, with some unintended consequences of the bill, when you look at the definition of Ghanaian family values and the criminalization of those who don't promote or support or act in conformity with those defined um, family values. And so 
Some unintended consequences may be the criminalization of untruthfulness, uh, lack of compassion. Uh, you talk about laziness. Laziness, yes, if you're not hardworking or, or disciplined or uh, don't exhibit good neighborliness. Well, they say that's far-fetched. But that is what the actual wording of the, the, the bill says when you look at it critically. So it is through this engagement that you draw the attention of the proponents to some of the more disturbing aspects of the bill. And then when we're doing the clause by clause interrogation, we amend, delete, add, and clean it up, more or less. So all the questions we're asking, is when people ask whether you are for or against the bill, I say they're missing the point. Yeah, particularly you have they been asking whether you are for or against. It's neither here nor there. The, the, the impression, many, in fact, I've checked Facebook comments, it's Facebook Live, I've checked some comments, <laughs> and they're asking, I mean, are you support or are you against the bill? Because they, 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 some, of, some of the commenters feel your questioning sought to impugn or pollute the bill. Like which ones? Well, that's, that, that's, that's general You know, it's, I've just given you an illustration of some of the provisions that I find problematic. Or the definition of intersex as somebody who is, you know, and I've, I've read it through and through and made uh, some comments about it. Act 1, uh, clause 1 someone who has a biological anomaly, including a person who is intersex, is affected by this bill. A biological anomaly, what does that mean? You know, it is so loosely couched that it can affect people who, or groups of people who were not intended in the, in the minds of the drafters of the bill to be caught by it. So our job as a committee is to interrogate the words, their positioning, what they mean, look at it in conjunction with other existing legislation, international conventions that we've signed up to.